video is covering my like 33 to 36 week bump date up into delivery. My symptoms were prego brain. I had prego brain like crazy. Like I just couldn't remember things. Like I'd be doing something and I'm like, what, what did I come in here for? Or I was just cloudy and fogged. I think that just had a lot to do with baby brain, just thinking about baby 24 seven, getting ready, the anxiety, nervous about um, my set, my C-section, the surgery that I'm having, anxious because now I'm gonna meet baby in 12 days and I wanted to have a little bit more time. I still had to get my um, maternity shoots done. It was just crazy, y'all. Hunger, just increased hunger, always hungry. Same as, as my last update, just always hungry, always eating never really satisfied, never really full. I had difficulty walking, just my ankles, my knees, very painful. It was just, my body just felt so heavy to walk, to, to carry, to tote around on my feet, on my ankles. I was wearing um, knee highs all the time because I was wearing dresses and I didn't want to wear, I just felt like my compression socks just didn't match with my dresses. So I moved to knee highs and the knee highs actually gave me the same relief as the compression socks. So if you can get away with knee highs, wear those too. And I think they just, you know, look more fashionable and they go better with your everyday clothing. Leg cramp attacks. I had the worst leg cramp. I want to say around 32, 33 weeks. It woke me up out of my sleep. I was crying, moaning, almost screaming. And it lasted, you guys, for at least two, three minutes where it, I was able to get out of the bed, walk downstairs to the kitchen, and I was still cramping. It was excruciating. And you have to wait until these the cramp does, it does what it does. And it's like there's nothing that you can do to stop it. So I immediately got on Google and um, looked up ways to treat this because I could not go through that anymore. Lo and behold, when I Googled, um, an article from the What's to Expect app came up, which is my favorite app that I've been using throughout this entire pregnancy. There's an article that came up that tells you what to do to treat your leg cramps during pregnancy. Listen to me and listen to me closely because these things work. But you gotta follow this regimen completely, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to wear your compression garments on your legs. So that's either your compression socks, your compression stockings, or like I was mo like I moved on to knee highs. Whatever you whatever your choice is, you need to wear those throughout the day while you're walking. When you end your day, you need to eat. And you can eat these throughout the day also, but I like to eat them closer to bedtime. So I would have it at dinner, um, magnesium and potassium rich foods. So my choice was bananas and green beans. So I would have like a banana in the morning for breakfast, and then I would make sure I had green beans in my dinner. Then you wanna do some stretches. It would be nice for me to get on camera and do the stretches for you, wouldn't it? But you pretty much wanna do stretches that stretch the back of your leg and stretch your calves, okay? If you can touch your toes, do that. But now, mind you, I was 33 weeks pregnant with a big old bump. I could barely even reach my toes, so I wasn't touching my toes, but I was doing stretches that uh, stretch the back of my leg so pretty much where you just raise your toes you raise up your toes put your dig your heel into the, the floor and then you reach so I did that look at me demonstrating like you can see me <laughs> so you do those stretches and then you drink a glass of water before bed do all of this and you will sleep like a baby no cramps I had to do this religiously for the uh, remainder of my pregnancy to stay safe because I did not want to feel that pain ever again. And it worked, worked like a charm. To recap, you're going to wear your compression garments on your legs throughout the day, okay? You're going to eat a magnesium and potassium rich food. Mainly the magnesium is what you need. I like bananas and green beans. You're going to do your stretches before bed and you're gonna drink a glass of water before bed. You might have to get up and pee, but, but that's, that comes with the lifestyle anyways. I'd rather get up and pee or have that to wake me up than a cramp. That's it for this video. <sighs> Thank you all for listening and watching. I'm so glad I made this video. I'm telling you, it was so 
hard for me to make it but here we are and it's done so now i got you guys all caught up and um the moment that we have all been waiting for i hope you've been waiting i've been waiting to share is my labor and delivery vlog so that will be next stay tuned for it and then you guys get to meet my little man i have a lot of footage that i have uh that i already have recorded that i want to share with you and he is just the light of my life i love him so much i can't wait to introduce you guys to him so that concludes this bump date stay tuned for my labor and delivery vlog and as always stay blessed be a blessing and i will see you all in the next video smooches